Hey there humans, it's Timothy here with Way of the Road. In this video I'm going to give you three drills to upgrade and maximize the most fundamental and functional pattern with the rope and that's the underhand. So the underhand is one of the most functional patterns because it helps mimic a healthy locomotive running technique where the spine becomes a spinal engine and rolls with this underhand figure eight pattern. Now this pattern quickly gets overlooked for people who uh, want to chase tricks or more complex maneuvers with the rope but there's so much to be gained from just mastering this one movement and in the different ways that we can use it in which I'm going to show you in this video it can really transform the way you move. So the first drill for the underhand is to go proxy and that means bringing the hands closer to your chest. The closer your hands come to the chest, the more your spine is going to have to work to make the rope move and so that it doesn't hit you in the back of the calf. And this is how we really get that spinal engine purring. Once you've got this down with the upper body, you can explore with the lower body whether you want to drive the heels down, keep the lower body stationary, however you want to do. But the key here is to get the hands close to the chest and really get that spinal engine purring, those elbows driving through on this figure of eight path. The next drill, and this is an incredible one for anyone who wants to improve their balance, is to balance, is to do the underhand pattern while standing on one leg. It's one thing in yoga, to stand on one leg, you know, we can do poses. Wow, there's nothing around us going off. You're completely stationary on a flat floor. Now, when you put the underhand pattern, you put this figure, this infinity sign pattern through that balanced foot, that foot is glued to the floor and the upper body is going through this motion, this is how we work like, the, the body learns to work like clockwork, like cogs, because to stabilize while the upper body is doing this, the ankle has to work in one way and then as we come back around, it goes the other way. So we're putting this figure eight pattern that, the, that I keep talking about through the ribs, through the hips, through that ankle, that ankle on the floor is doing a figure eight pattern as well as the whole body and the, the arms and everything. So if you're able to stay, remain balanced while doing an underhand, your whole body is learning to reconfigure and, and yes, yeah, stay balanced, to, to stay poised in whatever position your body can be. And while we're running in motion, in locomotion, that leg can always find balance. If you understand the carryover of that, it's, hard, it's very hard to explain, but if you can understand the carryover of that, you understand the power of the rope and what the underhand on one leg can do. Now for beginners, you can start with just one leg glued behind the other, one leg lifted. And as you want to get more advanced, you want to get this running man pattern going. And then you really, like I say, become clockwork. Your upper body and lower body start to work together like cogs in this running man motion. Now the third drill to maximize and upgrade your underhand is to work the underhand with a lunge. Now often people go to the gym and they'll step on boxes or they'll do lunges and their shoulders stay square or they'll do overhead lunges. This is all, this is all fine. Um, but what we want to do, if we want to strengthen our leg in a running or a jumping motion, you put this figure of eight into it with the lunge and you see when you take off that, when you're running and you take off a leg, your weight goes over that leg, this shoulder comes down and you drive and jump up. Now, the rope allows us to practice that motion over and over again. As we have the, the lowest side down when we lunge on the low leg and as it comes up we extend out the top. So one side compresses, one side lengthens. The same way when a baby crawls, one side shortens, one side lengthens. This is what this rope is teaching us and we can put that in the lunge and we can really start to train it for, for, to improve our ability to jump and our strength on each leg at a time. Now you can lunge forwards or you can lunge backwards. I think lunging backwards has more carryover, but you can experiment and play with both ways. And those are the three drills to help maximize and upgrade your underhand. I hope you feel you got something to take away, something you feel you want to practice next time you get your rope out. Uh, if you want to see more stuff, learn more stuff, check out wearetherope.co.uk. We've got ropes and courses for there. If you want to dive deeper, learn more about the patterns, you can go to that. But otherwise, if you like this content, subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace, guys. Por exemplo, ali, por exemplo, ali,